I think we just have not necessarily taken full advantage of how much uh, sort of weigh how, how much energy prices are weighing on on consumers' minds. So we therefore think that there's a few critical narratives. One is emphasis on new and richer tax credits. And I think a more aggressive stand against combating energy prices. We go back to, you know, the sort of 2009 downturn. This was a time where, you know, envelope business did really well because it was perceived by homeowners to be a a solution to what were then very high energy prices. Anything you can do to promote early action. And often this is off, this tends to be promotional. I mean, some of it can just be key uh, communications, but a lot of times, you know, promotions are are good. Um, I think uh, we still have work to do, surprisingly enough, on Uh, emphasizing the fact that heat pumps are for heat. There's still a fair amount of disbelief across the country to the extent that there are going to continue to be equipment shortages, creating some urgency around that. And then, and then, you know, just this whole idea of preparedness and resiliency, there's just a ton of evidence out there, you know, that, that people are care more and more and are more sensitive to, to this, you know, power outages and, and so forth. And then of course, for everything that is in that event related category, ice dams, power outages, et cetera, that you've got to have those guns loaded in order to take advantage of them when they do. To watch this full webinar and a complete archive of all Energy Circle webinars, visit energycircle.com slash webinars.